Hey, Nas Room. How many balloons get past Quincy's belt by round 100? From Lick My Balloons. Well, Mr. Balloons, thanks for the support. The answer to your question is 1,376,113 balloons. For a man who claims to let nothing get past his belt, that's a lot of balloons. To find this out, we'll have to use Quincy as the main tower for Pops, so that all of the leakage can be his fault and his fault alone. But first, who even is Quincy? Simply put, Quincy is a hero who lies and uses his bow to fight the balloons. He also levels up and gets stronger as the rounds go on, unlocking two abilities while leveling. One called Rapid Shot that increases his attack speed, and the other called Storm of Arrow. It rains arrows on the map like a storm of, well, arrows. Speaking of the map, we'll give Quincy the best chance to prove himself by using one of the easiest testing maps, Logs on Impoppable. With Quincy placed, it's time to get the show started. Are you kidding me? Nothing gets past my bow. But while we're waiting for the balloons to break past the bow, we'll need to set up a way to keep track of how many actually get past. And the best man that comes to mind is the Spike Factory, a tower that makes spikes and shoots them out on the map like a, well, Spike Factory. We'll put him at the very back of the map to make sure he won't help Quincy at all. The best path to go for here would be an 025. That way we'll have a nice and honest pile always ready to catch any mess caused by the lies of that bow user. To get this up as soon as possible, we'll need to do some slight farming along the way. And just as we get the farming going, we bear witness to the truth as some regrow yellows begin to slip past Quincy's bow. But this was only just the beginning. By round 40, a total of 4,936 balloons made it past his bow. And by round 60, this number grew to over 60,000, while the liar himself only had around 25,000 to show for. By round 80, Quincy had 158,000 pops. The Spike Factory had well over 100,000 more than that. With Super Ceramics now here, I began to worry about the health of the Spike Factory. So I used our extra funds to get an emergency Legend of the Night for when all else fails, and to help chip down those bigger balloons before they reach the perma. As you can guess, the final round went exactly like the others, with our perma letting nothing get past its spike. Time to check the final stats. With our total pop count being 2,133,677, and Quincy having 757,564 pops, that leaves us with a total of 1,376,113 balloons that got past Quincy's bow by round 100. Always remember, if you hear words that sound too good to be true, then they probably aren't true. Yeah. And the best way to deal with the liar is to never deal with them at all. Stay smart, my friends. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, click the like button and let me know what your favorite part was in the comments. If you want to see more, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you can be the first to see what's new. I'm always working on something new, and I look forward to posting more great stuff for you to watch. Thanks again, and I'll catch you next time. Take care.